Happy Friday! Ann here, inventor of Easy Arranger, and today we are doing Friday Flowers. So every Friday, um, if you join us on the page or you follow our video, go to our YouTube channel and actually subscribe, you can every Friday learn how to DIY some fun flower arrangements um, with my video. Always the disclaimer that I'm not a professional florist. I just invented this product that makes it easier for people to arrange flowers. So I'm a total DIYer. Some days this will work. Some days it'll be a fail video, but we're gonna every day, every Friday, we're gonna try something new. So please join us and like and subscribe and um, keep following us and we'll keep coming up with new ideas. So today we are using this cool eight inch easy arranger. Couple things to note is that it's got these really big openings and I'll show you why I selected this one for today's, um, today's uh, arrangement. So I found this great, I just make, I'm a child, I was born in 74, I'm a child of the 70s. I love this olive green bowl I found at Goodwill last week and I've been looking for a reason to use it. And when I've got these cute bouquets, I got this, mini bouquet at um, Trader Joe's this morning, and they're so tiny and cute. But <laughs> Look at the size of the stem on this in these bouquets. So I thought I need something with a big open weave today um, to try it out. So we're gonna go ahead and use the eight inch. So if you look at the eight inch, I already pre-bent it into this dome. And the reason I did that is I put it over the top initially and tried to bend it around the edges, but because of this like fluted edge, it didn't want to go out perfectly. So what I decided to do instead is do the inside technique. So I'm just bending it up into a dome and putting it inside the bowl. And so you're not, when you're done, you're not going to see it outside. So if you want to look at it, that's how it looks. Okay. So I bent it and put it inside my funky little bowl. Um, as always, when we're doing these demos, because I'm tilting the bowl a lot, I'm putting water in to start. I'll do water after you were off of air. So I bought, at the store this morning, I bought a big bunch of Astromeria. And then I bought these, they're called mini bouquets. I bought three of them. I've got two on the table and one underneath, so we can try those too. So what I thought I would do is we'd start with the Astromeria. And what we can do is play with them, placing them so that we've got this like kind of, I don't know how to describe it. So we're gonna do it so it kind of comes over the edge of the arranger. So because I'm doing it kind of sideways and cockeyed, I'm gonna to have to put them in the flowers and then trim them so they sit the way I want. So I already cut them very short, but I'm gonna even cut them shorter to get, to get the look I want. So kind of what I wanna do is that. I want the flower to kind of flop over the edges. So I'm gonna kind of insert that, go for that all the way around. So we'll see, and I have not pre-done this, so if this is horrid at the end, we can always have a good laugh. So we're, I am just kind of going for a very like um, wide and kind of fluffy, I'm sure that's a technical term, wide and fluffy arrangement. So I've got four Astromeria stems in there right now. I'm going to keep going. The idea being that I'm putting the fullness out along the outer edge. So it's going to, like I said, it's going to have this kind of wild, wild, fluffy kind of not perfectly put together design. And I, what I love about Astromeria, if you haven't used them before, um, pick some up at the store because they last forever. I mean, forever. I will probably have this arrangement still next week, or at least the Astromeria will still be alive. So now what I'm doing is I'm kind of going into the second tier of the um, arranger. So I'm using the Astromeria kind of to fill in some of the top, although not a whole lot. And I might actually change that in a second here. It's so kind of like... Hmm. Let me play with this a little bit more. I'm gonna put that over there. So I kind of have this big gap right now. So I've got this big, full, fluffy... Ooh, that one's kind of sticking out the side funny, isn't it? I've got this big, full, fluffy, but at the top you can see there's still like a big bunch of opening. So what I'm gonna do next with the other flowers is kind of create, kind of space it out and create a some 
visual interest with the other flowers. So let's see how this turns out. So this is that crazy stem, you guys, look at this thing. Looks like something we should be eating, not something we should be arranging with. I have absolutely, like not even the singlest idea of what this is. I don't even know how it's gonna look, so apologies across the board if this is the ugliest thing. Actually, it kind of mimics the colors in the Astromeria, so I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna just keep going and we're gonna see what happens next. Um, pink carnation. So I'm gonna kind of put that so it kind of flops into the center there. Kind of liking that. So when I was picking out my flowers today, look at this cute little baby Gerber daisy. Um, if you missed it, last week was all about Gerber daisies, so that was fun. Um, the What I tried to do is pick out a similar color palette. I wasn't really going with a, I didn't have a specific idea of what I wanted, so I just kind of picked out colors. This is a wax fly. Ooh, this one smells, hmm. Not my favorite scent, but I don't know why it smells funny today. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where we're at. Oh wait, I still have more. Oh no, this is the second bouquet. So that's where we're at so far. So now I'm gonna kind of start filling in on this side. Got another giant one of these. Hey, if anyone knows what this is, could you like comment? <laughs> I have no idea. A big and fluffy thing. If we call it the big and fluffy thing, that might actually make sense. So what I tried to do with that is I tried to put the other one on the other side. I don't know if I'd like that yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep going and see how we end up. So this one, when you have, when you're doing a really big pot like this, um, you need to think about um, flowers, if you don't have a ton of money, you need to think about flowers that fill the space really well without um, some big headed stuff. Like if I, I almost bought today uh, hydrangeas, and that would have worked really well too. Gat has the big stem, so you do need to use a bigger arranger. I'm actually gonna cut this shorter. Um, you, you do need to use a bigger opening arranger, but um, that would also work. Sunflowers, think big heads to fill the space of this giant thing you're trying to accomplish here. All right, so I'm using now the second carnation. So I'm gonna kind of balance it by putting it on the other side of this one. Oh my gosh, I'm really actually liking how this is turning out. Shocking, because this is a completely blind arrangement. Didn't do that baby Gerber daisy right in the top there. I still have a little gap. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. I have a gap like right in here. So I still have that third bouquet um, that I showed you in the beginning. So I'm gonna cut that open and we're gonna use that to kind of fill in some more spaces. If I didn't have more flowers, probably what I'd do is I'd just space out the astromeria a little bit more. Um, if I had bought enough flowers for this arrangement because I certainly don't need to have them as clustered as I do But since I've already bought the flowers like hello, let's just go for it All right, so on this side, we're gonna put another one of those wax flowers a couple of those Oh, that's looking good. I think we need that bright pink now and this one. I only have one of the Gerber daisies so we're gonna kind of strategically put this little guy in there Oh boy, this is like such a fun arrangement. Um, when you're doing flower arranging, I always think it's easier to do things in threes. I bought, um, it's just, I don't know why, it just is. Um, maybe it's that whole, there's math involved, right? The um, total budget today um, at Trader Joe's, each little bundle was $3. And then the um, big bunch of Astromeria was, I think, 4 so my total budget was, again, I always try to do under $20 for you guys so you can get the experience of, oh, you know what, hold on one second. Let me move that little guy right there. And that little guy right there. Kind of fluff that. I have a little bit of a small spot that I don't love, so let me, okay. I am actually super happy with this random bouquet that just turned out. So this is the flowers. If you look at all the different angles, it's kind of different from each spot. And then I'll hold it up so you can see. So this is your, this is my wild and fluffy um, vintage vase, eight inch arranger. So again, we used a big bowl from, from Goodwill. 
Um, we use an eight inch Easy Arranger that can be bought at easyarranger.com. And um, these are the eight inch does not come in the three pack. So if you want the eight inch, you always have to buy that one separately. And this is our Friday flower. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have to go try some flowers today, some big wild looking flowers. And um, I'm gonna go put this in some water. Take care everybody, bye-bye.